It's day 11 of our 12 days of Christmas at the manor, which means there's only two days left and two more goodies to give away. And so we're gonna find out what's in my suitcase today. We're also gonna reveal the winner of yesterday's giveaway, which was our Ladysmith Manor t-shirt. And today we're gonna to talk about gift wrapping. Now, I love wrapping gifts, and uh, I'm always looking for unique and creative ways to make that gift wrapping extra special. And so I've got a couple of tricks and tips that I've used and I use here at the manor that I thought I would share with you today. I don't know whether you leave your gift wrapping to the last minute, so if that's you, this will be perfect for you. But uh, these are really super easy, very, very fun, and so I'm gonna share those um, gift wrapping ideas with you. But first of all, let's find out what we're gonna be giving away today. What's in my suitcase? So, in my suitcase today, we have the one that everyone's been waiting for, the overnight stay here at the manor. We are giving away an overnight stay here at the manor in spring, summer 2023. So you'll come next spring or summer, we'll arrange a convenient date, and you'll come and you'll get to enjoy an overnight stay here at the manor. Now I get asked a lot about whether we're gonna be a bed and breakfast or an Airbnb, whether you can book a room and an overnight. Well, the answer to that is no. We're not gonna be a bed and breakfast, we're not gonna be an Airbnb. We are gonna be releasing details later in 2023 about ways you can stay overnight here at the manor. But it is, it's not open at the moment, so this is a really unique prize. So I will be telling you exactly how you can enter to win this, and we can't wait to welcome you, if you're the winner, to the manor in the spring summer uh, 2023 to give you the chance to stay with us overnight. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to win, but first, let me share with you some of my favorite unique gift wrapping ideas. I love wrapping gifts, especially Christmas gifts. And uh, I, I'm a little bit famous for um, wrapping them with ribbon and twine that is quite hard to get into. Um, I do find it a little fun to give people a bit of a challenge when they're opening my gifts. But today I thought I would share three really simple decorating ideas or gift wrapping ideas that really make the gift super special and really you can personalize them. And the first one is one that I did last year for our Night Before Christmas theme and it was actually um, as simple as copying pages of a book and using them as my gift wrap. So I just took my favorite Night Before Christmas book, I copied it on my color printer, printed them out and then used the pictures to wrap and then I just put a little bit of twine around. And it's just super simple, it's so, um, especially for this book, it was, it's, such, it's got such lovely illustrations, but you could really do it with any type of picture, um, a favorite uh, book that you have, photo you have, um, all you need is a color printer, or you could even do black and white. Um, that would look super uh, cute too, um, but just a very, very effective way. So all I'd like to say is printed them out, copied them, and then I just uh, added a little bit of the, the traditional twine, um, but you could be super creative with that. And, and you know, even if you've got guests that have a favorite book or a favorite picture, you could use that to wrap their gift. Now the other one is, um, and I love using, is this um, brown paper. Very, very simple, very traditional, especially with the red and white twine. But this is, uh, a very simple idea. I used this last year on some of my 12 days of Christmas place settings is that I just find a really unique photograph. And this is actually a photograph of my nan um, when she was young, which I love. And maybe you've got, um, you're giving a gift to someone who uh, you have a special photo for of them. And I just wrapped the gift in the brown paper and then with the twine and then just put the picture in. You could add some greenery. Um, you could really make it as creative, but you could even do just photos of whoever the gift is for and that could be your name tag for the gift. But I just love this idea of using photographs as part of the gift giving process. So that's again, something very, very simple, um, easy to do. And then this last idea, I actually discovered this year. And this is really, really super simple. 
So I've got a gift here and you know, you wrap it and it needs some kind of ribbon. It needs something to look a bit more pretty. So all you're gonna do is take another piece of the wrapping paper that you've wrapped the present in. And I'm just gonna lay it on top and I'm actually gonna just trace round the shape of the gift. And this works really well on square boxes, but it, it will work on other shapes as well. And I'm just gonna cut that round. So I'm gonna cut the size piece of wrapping paper that's the size of the top of my gift. I now have my square that's the same size as the top of my box. So I'm gonna take this square and I'm gonna fold it in four on the diagonal. Then I'm gonna open it back up. So now I've got my folds. And then I'm gonna cut halfway down each of these folds. piece here. Just going to get a little bit of tape and then I'm going to stick this to the top of my box. And then I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to put it right in the middle. And then I'm gonna take the alternate piece and just stick it to the middle. And you end up with a really cute top to your gift. It's that time again when we reveal our next winner. And yesterday we were giving away our Ladysmith Manor t-shirt on day 10. And the winner's been drawn and I can reveal that the name is Nancy McLaughlin. So congratulations, Nancy. Thank you to everyone who posted pictures of their Christmas trees and, ex and shared their favorite Christmas decorations. I loved looking through and hearing about your Christmas trees, seeing all your pictures. I always love to see everyone's decorations, so I really appreciate everyone who entered. But today, obviously the big question is, how do you enter to win our overnight stay at the manor? Well, it's really, really simple. Today we're talking all about gifts. And what I'd like to know is what's the best gift you've ever been given? And it could be a Christmas gift or it could be another gift but what's your, the best gift that you've ever been given? So all you have to do to enter to win our overnight stay is tell me what your best gift, gift is in the comments below this video in YouTube. And as soon as you do that, you will be entered into the draw that we will draw tomorrow. We will, as always, be revealing the winner of our overnight stay in tomorrow's video, which is day 12. And with only one day left, we still have goodies to give away. We've got one more goodie to give away tomorrow. So I will be revealing not only who the winner is of our overnight stay, but what's that last goodie that you have a chance to win and how you can win it. So make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, The Ladies With Manor Diaries. To be eligible to win, you have to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button on our Ladies With Manor Diaries YouTube channel so you're subscribed and then write your best gift in the comments below this video and I will enter you into the draw and we cannot wait to welcome one winner to the manor in spring or summer 2023 for an overnight stay and hopefully fingers crossed it will be you so put your get best gift below the in the comments below I can't wait to see what your your best gifts are have been and um, I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow for day 12 of our 12 days of Christmas at the Manor.